Hello and good evening lovelies, I hope you're all okay. Um, so here we are, full moon meditation. Um, I'm going to do a little ritual as well because I feel well in the mood for it. I've um, set myself up a little grid which I've just been making. You can tell I'm really excited about this one because I'm actually early. I've actually been sat up here for 20 minutes thinking I'm just going to pretend I'm doing some work because um, I needed some time out myself. So yeah, here I am. So obviously it's the full moon tonight or it was actually this morning, early hours of the morning, um, which I know all of you have been experiencing. It's been a little bit crazy, hasn't it? Um, but as you guys know, and I thought like, this is why I was going to um, do a bit of talking before I go into the meditation, but you guys obviously know that the the moon comes in cycles, okay? So every, you know, 28 to 29, 30 days, um, the universe basically invites us to just pause for a little bit. And then what happens? Good evening. Oh, good evening, Jeanette. I hope you're okay, lovely. Here's me just chatting away, just waiting for people to come on. But I know a lot of people are catching up on replay, so I'm just going for it. Um, so yeah, with a full moon, every 28 to 30 days, the full moon asks us to just pause, to take some time out, to reflect, to kind of think about what we've experienced over that lunar cycle within that month, um, you know, what kind of what so seeds we've sown and what's kind of been reaped, you know, what have you reaped this month? And and what happens isn't, and obviously, you know, I'm seeing a bit of a pattern, is that people are getting really stressed out and snappy and tearful, etc., etc., And that's quite common for a full moon. And, you know, that's why we all act a bit like lunatics, don't we? Because we're not taking the time out to ground. We're not taking the time out to slow down. We're not taking that time out to just sit and chill and rest and reflect. And that's why things like this are so, so important for us to have that little bit of time out. Like, the kids have just been driving me mad today. Amara has literally been like a werewolf. She's totally on one. Um, and, you know, she's feeling it as well, but she's not allowing, obviously, her self time because she's only three to just take a little step back and chill out. So sometimes it's easier to kind of just start remove ourselves from the situation, isn't it? Well, I hope you're going to enjoy your first meditation with us, Jeanette, tonight. Um, don't worry if you can't watch the whole way through, you can catch up on replay. Like ev like I was saying, everything I do, I try and get it so that you can replay, replay it um, at a time that's convenient for you. And you can replay it as many times as you want. So if there's a certain meditation or a certain video that you really like, you can watch it as many times as you like. There's three of you on, but only one person saying hello. So who else is there? Say good evening if you're there. I don't know if you guys want to join in with me, but I have already started writing um, what I'm letting go of. I've started already on my dissolvable paper. Um, you know, like I've said before, some months I release, other months I don't. This month, oh my God, so many things have like been coming up and triggering me. And I've even been feeling like anger and stuff like that. So I've I've been writing it all down because, you know, it doesn't serve me. I don't want to take it forward into my next lunar cycle. So, you know, I'm letting it all go. So if you haven't got any dissolvable paper, um, normal paper will do and you can burn it if you want. Um, just make sure you've got a little dish. I'll just go, I know most of you know what you're doing, but I'll just go through it quickly. Um, good evening, Sarah. I hope you're okay, lovely. Just make sure you've got a little dish so that if you are burning anything, you can kind of pop it in. Make sure you're safe. Um, I've got some new sages that have arrived today, which I haven't even put in the Precious Treasures group yet. And I'm going to use one tonight so you guys can help me pick one to cleanse myself because I really feel like I need it. So this one is the Spiritual Cleansing Sage. It looks like it's got little bits of um, rose petal in there. 
and a bit of cedar i think this one I, i'm a bit tempted to just have this one actually and not let you choose at all um this one has got the dragon's blood in it the floral sage which is funny because i've been doing reiki today and while i was doing reiki I had my eyes shut um a dragon came in for one of the ladies oh and emily hi Em. i hope you're okay honey hello um oh and i've got a sunflower one and then last but not least i've got it's called purple days sage <gasps> so which one shall i have purple sunflowers dragon's blood or the spiritual cleansing sage you can choose let me know in your comments i'm going to wait until you've chosen um i've made myself a little crystal grid which i'll just try and show you guys it's all about abundance and for manifesting this month as we move into manifesting may can't wait getting ready to unleash our beautiful manifesting uh, manifesting magic oh so excited so that's that's my grid so if you haven't made your grids already um, and you like making crystal grids get one made tonight m said dragon oh yes oh i'm so pleased and jeanette said dragon as well Woo! i've not i've not had this one before so i'm quite excited oh smells just like white sage really but I don't even know what dragon's blood smells like. It's not real dragon's blood, obviously. But just the thought of it is very, very exciting. So, without further ado, if any of you are wanting to do a little bit of a release, do it with me now, okay? So, just for the newbies in the group, if there is anything that has really, really pissed you off this month, and I'm saying that word because I know Emily's watching with Sarah and they love a good swear word. Um, if there is anything that has really, really annoyed you this month, I want you to just write it down for me now. Okay, just grab a pen and paper. It doesn't matter what it's written on, but I just want you to write it down because we're going to do some releasing. It's a super full moon and I really, really feel that we need to just get all of this crap off our chest. So I've been writing it down, as you can see. I'm not going to burn tonight. I'm actually going to dissolve mine. Um, but I'm, I've written quite a few things down already. But just take a second. We've got plenty of time. Write it down, whatever you're wanting to let go of write it down now i'm actually writing another one that's just popped into my mind and you know that it doesn't matter how how enlightened you think you are or how you know far you are into your journey your spiritual journey or whatever doesn't matter we always always have things that come up that trigger us that we need to let go of um that comes to the surface and make our blood boil or whatever and it's super super important to let those go okay so i'm going to release these before i sage and then i'm going to sage after so i'm putting mine in the dissolvable paper like i've said you know you can get this on amazon literally putting it in the water giving it a little mixer and look at that, just dissolve straight away. So just take a minute to think about, obviously you releasing it, oh, that one didn't want to go. I knew that one was going to be a hard one as well. It's a big one to release. But it's the same with if you're burning, just take a minute, take a breath, concentrate, release it with love and with light. And then I'm going to tip it down the sink because I'm very lucky to have one right next to me. I don't want to keep it in here. <laughs> and then I'm going to sage my space and I'm going to sage me. So obviously you guys have seen me do this plenty of times. So just make sure that it's a light. Make sure you're safe. I normally break mine up into little pieces, but I feel like I really want to do this big one because I really need a good cleanse. <laughs> and it's not 
not even my own energy, it's other people's. So I'm just gonna sage my phone, sage myself, just keeping an eye on, make sure you don't drop any hot embers onto yourself. Give it good. You can sage your space. Now, obviously in a lot of videos, I'm saging space as well. You know, really fill your room. And while you're doing it, I just want you to just think about releasing and think about letting go of anything that no longer serves you. Have a good whiff of it. Oh, it smells. It smells quite strong, actually. So I release everything with love and with light and I fill that space with love and light. So I'm just imagining that golden light coming in and just filling that space now, you know, so there's no empty void, nothing like that. Oh, you're burning your sage as well. Yay! Yay! So on a full moon, we're releasing and we're just clearing out and we're making way. We're not going to set any intentions tonight because it's a super full moon. The energies are a bit crazy. Now, if there's anything I've learned over the years is really not to kind of set any intentions when the energies are crazy. Um, so I'm not even thinking of anything else. I've just made my grid and I'm just focusing on lifting and maintaining the beautiful vibrations that I've got. Um, as I said, I've already done my beautiful abundance grid and I'm just going to light my spell candle. If you've got anything like this that you want to do as well, now's the time to do it. So just keeping those beautiful vibrations of abundance coming into my life. That's it. Coming into my life and giving out to all you lovely people as well. I'm trying to keep it really, really calm and grounded tonight because I feel that, that is what I need. I just feel like I need to slow down a little bit and I'm sure you guys do as well. I think that, judging by everybody's comments, um, that's what you all need. So, as I said, full moon is just the universe kind of telling us now to just slow down a little bit. And that is what I'm going to do for you guys tonight. We're going to go into a meditation. I'm hoping that um, you guys will join me. You know, don't worry if you can't and you need to catch up on replay. That's absolutely fine. But um, I'm just going to put some music on now. I've got, um, it's kind of in honour of a gentleman called Chris Thorne that I um, knew in the spiritual community. I heard of his passing a few weeks ago. Um, and he was, I would say he was only in his 50s, late 50s, you know, possibly early 60s. But, um, you know, far too young to be leaving this planet. And um, he played the didgeridoo and um, I was blessed to kind of go to a couple of his events where we did the didgeridoo. So tonight's music might be a little bit unusual in the background, um, but it's kind of just in honour of, of him. Um, and I'm hoping you'll like it. It's actually, um, it's quite hypnotic. And it's kind of very outy worldy. So I'm really, really hoping you guys will enjoy it. So if you are joining me for the meditation live, get yourselves comfortable. I'm going to move my camera over here and I'm just going to place it so you can see something really pretty instead of just me. Well, I say really pretty. You just saw my nostrils then instead, didn't you? There we go. Something nice. I've got my little aura spray as well. So I'm going to give myself a little spray because I feel I need it. I wish you guys were here. It smells amazing in this room. <laughs> I always say that, don't I? So if you want to get yourselves comfortable. So either sitting 
for lying. And you're just going to close your eyes. Just taking a few deep breaths. in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just using that breath to help relax you. Using that breath to help ground your energies. And as you listen to this beautiful sound, I just want you to breathe it in. Breathe it in, deep into your lungs. Breathe it in deep into your tummy area. To your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. and to your base chakra. Allow yourself to just fixate on these beautiful sounds. Just envisage in your mind that beautiful sound just vibrating throughout your body. Just cleansing over you. like beautiful waves. And as you start to feel relaxed, as your body feels less tense, I want you to just imagine that you're staring up at a beautiful full moon. This moon has a slight pink tinge. You feel warm as you look up at it. And 
as you watch it there in the sky. You have a lovely warm feeling in your heart center. You're in awe of its beauty. And you just take some time to just think of all the things that you are letting go of. Take this time to talk to the moon. And release all that no longer serves you. Just allow it all to go with ease. The more and more you release, the lighter you feel. you feel. As you start to relax and your mind becomes clear, just take this time Call out your spirit guide. Ask them to draw close now. And to connect in. You feel their soft, vibrant energy coming in now. Allow them to join you. in a way that will not startle you. You may just see colors. You may just feel a vibration. You may receive a smell or a symbol. Or a sign. But just set the intention that you will know when 
and your guide has connected in with you. Acknowledge any sensations. Or anything different. That you experience now. Just know that you are loved and supported. your team they're all here encouraging you to rest to recoup encouraging you to absorb that wonderful energy that they bring in with them They encourage you to get comfortable. While they offer you some beautiful healing. You feel this energy coming down over your head. Bringing it in through your crown chakra. Setting the intention to draw it down drawing it down to your third eye to your throat To your heart center. To your solar plexus. To your sacral, to 
to your base chakra. And deep down into your earth star chakra. And you just allow that beautiful energy to simply just wash over you. A beautiful spiral just going round and round washing over you again and again just enjoy the serenity it brings feel the vibrations in your hands and your feet throughout every atom in your body as this wonderful energy just cleanses you Feel lighter, your energy feels clearer. Feel so content. And you just keep taking the healing you require. Until you feel you've taken enough.
you may find that you guide offers their name or even some guidance While you're relaxed, balanced, and aligned, you may find that other beautiful beings wish to connect in with you too. You may find the Ascended Masters or the Angels wish to join you too. Just be open to their wonderful energy. Just knowing that you attract here and only a light that is a hundred percent pure love and light. And that these beautiful beings always have your best interests at heart. Again, just allowing them to connect in however you see fit. It may be colours, light, smells, or even just a feeling of unconditional love. Just embrace a beautiful energy that is here to serve you. Truly embrace their magical energy.
take whatever healing you need. Ask for any love or guidance. you feel your need in this moment. Allow yourself to let go. Allow yourself to just float in the energy of the universe. Knowing You are supported. And that you are loved. Unconditionally. For who you are. For who you've been. And for who you will become. Your guide encourages you. To place your hands on your heart. To feel your heartbeat. And to hold their energy. In your heart center. fully feel their love and their support there with you always As they start to slowly withdraw their energy now, they get you to focus your energy inwards. Feeling your own energy. Feeling the weight of your body as they fully step back. They say their goodbyes 
and you feel that energy fully disconnecting from yours. And you start to feel yourself grounded. Back in your physical body. Wiggling your hands. Wiggling your toes. Just taking some nice deep breaths in. And out. And when you are ready, feel free to open your eyes. And there you go, lovelies. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Wishing you all a happy pink moon or grass moon. I hope you've released all you need to release. I hope you feel balanced and aligned and well. Sweet dreams, everybody. Bye.